Welcome to Size 13 Random Packs, where we pick anyone, anywhere, or anything and find 13 random facts about it, then share those facts with you. If you have something you would like us to find 13 random facts about, then mention it down in the comment section and we will do our best to make it happen. Before we get started, please, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe buttons along with the notification bell, which all happen to be down below this video. And this will be part of our dog breed series. Today we are going to learn 13 random facts about the dog breed, the Portuguese Phila. And that's what I was told they were called when I first received my crossbreed, so that's what I will be calling them. And although these dogs are known by another name from this point on, I'll be calling them Portuguese Phila as often as I can. This way, you don't have to hear me butcher another language. Let's start off with number one and see if I don't butcher what I'm reading. Number one. Seia stands for dog in Portuguese, while fila is the word for holding something by the teeth or mouth. Seio Miguel is a reference to the island in the Azores where this dog breed emerged. And like I said, I'm sure I'm butchering it. So that's it. From this point on, they are Portuguese fillas. And I know I already said that before the last fact, but this time I mean it, okay? Number two. The phila is also sometimes locally named Bulldog due to its primary use as a cattle guardian herder. And in English, it has also been referred to as Azorian Cattle Dog, in case you didn't know that. All I can say is Portuguese fillas are so much easier to say, not what I just said during the last two packs. Moving on to number three, the Portuguese Phila, often shortened to Phila, is one of the few working dog breeds still in use in Europe, particularly in the region where it originated from the Azores. And again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering anything here. Feel free to share this video with your friends. Let's spread the word and get more people here. The more the merrier, it's always, always, always better in a group. Number four, their intensity and roughness in the handling of the herd makes them an asset for dealing with cows and bulls. But it has been said that the fillets are too rough to handle sheep or other smaller farm animals. Strange thing is, my dog is actually pretty good with smaller dogs. But then again, she is a crossbreed, so that could have a lot to do with it. Number five, while they are believed to be descended from ancient Molosser type dogs, they are somewhat smaller than other Molosser breeds and have longer muzzles than most. I'll be honest, I had to search to find out what they meant when calling them Molosser. And for those who don't know, most Molossers are Mastiff type dogs, such as Spanish Mastiffs, Bull Mastiffs, along with a few others. Yes, my dog isn't quite as big as them, although my dog is a crossbreed with a Nikita. Number six. They, meaning Portuguese fillers, should be well socialized, preferably when young with both dogs and people, especially with children, as the breed tend to be naturally weary of strangers, though he is very friendly with those he knows. Personally, I discovered very quickly with mine that as long as I treat the person like a friend, then she accepts the person as a friend. If I'm uneasy around someone, so is she, and if I treat the person like a stranger, she becomes very uneasy and alert, along with letting me know if they are nearby. Number seven, Portuguese fillers are square-headed animals with 
very strong jaws, expressive dark brown eyes, and well-developed musculature of the trunk and limbs with a naturally aggressive and territorial attitude, in case you didn't know. If you haven't been there yet, you should go check out our other channel, Shy's Daily Trivia. There's some trivia over there that are all about this video here, along with some other subjects and categories to choose from. Number 8. In order to successfully keep a Portuguese villa, the family must achieve pack leader status. It is a natural instinct to have order in their pack, because a dog communicates his displeasure with growling and eventually biting. All other humans must be higher up in the order than the dog. If you happen to know a few facts that aren't on this list, please feel free to share them with us down in the comment section below. We really would love to hear from you all. Number 9. Highly driven and intelligent, the villa also excels as a guardian thanks to its intense protection drive, which has to be seen to believe. This is in fact one of the main jobs given to a villa over in continental Portugal. Reminds me of a quick story. One day on a walk with my puppy, my brother, his son, and a friend were with us. On our walk home, the friend and my nephew, who was 11, stopped to talk with a stranger. The further we got from them, the more uneasy she became, my dog. You could tell she was trying to keep them in her line of sight. When we reached the corner, she refused to go further. Instead, she sat down, keeping an eye on them until they chose to catch up with us. Number 10, the height, males are 19.5 to 24 inches or 50 to 61 centimeters. The females are 19 to 23 inches or 48 to 58 centimeters. Their weight, males are 55 to 90 pounds, which is 25 to 41 kilograms. And the females are 45 to 80 pounds, which is 21 to 36 kilograms. Fairly a good sized dog. Be sure to come back tomorrow for some more random facts. Bring your friends with you. We would love to have them here with us. We love big groups. The more the merrier. Number 11. The mix between intelligence, roughness, and protection drive make this breed a poor choice for an inexperienced handler. And even more for anyone who believes walking a dog around the block for 20 minutes equates to a healthy amount of work exercise for a dog. So if you plan on having them, one of these dogs, make sure you can give it lots of exercise. Let me know in the comments below if any of these facts surprised you. Personally, I get surprised every day from all the different facts I read during my research. Number 12. The Portuguese villa tend to be extremely loyal to their owners and families, protecting them at all costs, but are standoffish towards strangers and violent towards other animals. Keep that in mind while walking your dog. Be alert at all times. Thank you for joining me today, and I do hope you learned something today. We do try to make it both educational and fun for all. And rounding off our 13 facts with number 13, just kind of a, you know, a reminder, when we as humans live with dogs, we become their pack. The entire pack cooperates under a single leader. Lines are clearly defined and rules are set. The humans must be the ones making the decisions, not the dogs. That is the only way your relationship with your dog can be a complete success. So that's it. That's all I got for now. Until we meet again, and I will be back soon except on weekends. And hopefully you'll be back to join us. My name is Shy. Have yourselves a great day. And good night.